Some Christian philosophers have uh, offered arguments for thinking that God must be precisely a trinity, three persons in one rather than more. Um, for example, it's argued that God could not plausibly be a lonely single person because God is essentially loving. And it's a property of love to give oneself away to another. And given that that other couldn't be any created person because they're not necessary or eternal, the most plausible answer of whom it is that God loves would be that it's a person that is internal to the Godhead, that God is multiple persons. Now that would require at least two, and some philosophers have argued that plausibly you need a third person to be involved because the love of two persons for each other is greater if there is a third with whom they share their love. So you have not merely a mutual love, but a kind of community love of three persons. And they would say that this kind of love is not greater if there are four persons instead of three or five persons or six persons, that having a community of three persons is sufficient. Um, and that provides a plausibility argument for why God is a trinity. Well, I remain unsettled about this sort of argument. I think the argument that God is uh, multiple persons is very persuasive. I do think that there's a real good plausibility argument that God must be multiple in his personhood, but that it must be exactly three uh, and not more there, I'm not so persuaded and so remain open-minded about that. I, I think it may simply be an essential property of God that God is essentially triune, three persons.